Everybody, how you doing? Here with Gary Watts. Hey, we're doing uh, the Donick demo March 29th to April 7th. I'm gonna be there every day as long as it's not a power day, as long as the roads are all right. Gary's gonna be there most days too. Yep. So if you want to come test out a Donick board, we'll have all sorts of models, all sorts of stuff. And yeah, just come check it out. And we'll be standing by the tent and occasionally just hey, you want to go take a lap or two? Boom. So. Uh, that's going to be pretty sweet. So yeah, last year was awesome. This year even going to be bigger and better. So definitely hit me up. Let me know in the description if you're going to be making this demo. Um, but uh, hey, talking about snowboards and specs, we are, Gary and I are both on pretty crazy specs with in terms of side cut radius. I'm on a 14.5 meter radius. Geary is on a 12 meter radius. This isn't things you could go into a shop and buy. Oh, and it's not something that I recommend for most people. So today I want to talk about the disadvantages of larger side cut radii. Ah, interesting. Yeah, because uh, so uh, Jack Lee, well, I've talked to him about it. He's on 11. We've uh, He's had the exact same thoughts that I've had, and I'm pretty sure you have the same thoughts. So yeah, disadvantages. Sure. Disadvantages to the larger radius. Ooh. Well, I've got to say, um, so I've been riding on my newer larger radius here for a um, couple weeks now, about a week and a half or so. And honestly, I am enjoying it a lot in a lot of different settings. I would say that there is one spot, like in terms of just doing really quick little, uh, like kind of tip and rip style carves on um, like a flatter groomed surface. Um, I've also got, I'm working with a bigger width than I had previously, but I do notice I've got to create a little bit of a bigger movement uh, to get my edge, get my side cut in there and really feel that turn arcing through. Uh, I am adapting to that pretty quickly, pretty quickly, and uh, really very much enjoying the the pros or the the benefits on this. Um, on the on the flip side of that, I feel like uh, I can still achieve a pretty small turn, um, especially when I've got a little bit of pitch to work with uh, by virtue of bending the snowboard and kind of altering the the turn radius with that. Next negative. Uh it, you can accidentally get locked into a carve if you're not paying attention. And like uh, the other day, I was talking with someone behind me and standing too straight legged, and I just got locked into this he heel side carve and almost ran into the trees. So, um, who it might be right for, especially if you have a racing background, an instructing background, and are really knowing that you're carving really aggressively, that's when a larger radius can be good. But otherwise, if you're not 100% sure that you want larger turns, then uh, I'd, I'd avoid that. I'd, I'd really dig the 8.7 meter radius for most recommend, recommendations. But again, yeah, if you're really hard charging carving and that's your main thing, and you don't care about doing some butters at slower speeds on flatter things, because on flatter pitches, you just can't make your board do as much. So yeah, there's the downsides of negative larger radius. Let's make some turns, Gary. Yeah. Hey, we're out at Copper Mountain. It is beautiful. There's awful views over here too.
one last thing that I've thought about on the negative of the extra large radiuses. So say if uh, if I'm in the mini park at Breckenridge, things like front side 180s off my toes onto ride on boxes, it's just like too big of a radius to really make that effective. I don't get that last split second pop. I need to be going faster to utilize it. So yeah, that's uh, have you noticed anything like that? Yeah, kind of similar on some of those uh, just smaller smaller settings like yeah little rails and little boxes and little bar things like that but yeah if you're interested in trying a big radius i'll have a lot of my boards at the demo so hopefully we'll see you here hopefully you could come take a lap with gary and i try out some boards figure out what specs you like and uh, that'd be rad so hopefully we see you there let me know in the description if so thank you guys guys for watching guys and gals for watching happy shredding and kapla